94.1 WHRP, Gurley, Huntsville, Decatur, Accumulus Media Station. I said, Tony, Tony, Tony. It's local and it's here. Tony in the morning show. Tony, 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 Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend. Thank you for starting your day with us. Tony, Tony, Tony in the morning. Tony in the morning. 94.1 WHRP. It is Monday. We're back at it. If you didn't know, now you know. Right. It's it Monday. Monday. <laughs> right. Yes. yes. Yes, it's indeed. Like, it's one of them rejuvenated Mondays mm-hmm. right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm like, hoping everybody had a nice weekend. Yeah. The weather was pleasant. Great weather. Wasn't too Couldn't hot. have an attitude with the weather. Nope. Can't, can't <laughs> grab them Adams out the air. <laughs> right. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, here we are, of course, a busy week for those that are running for that black job seat mm-hmm. of the presidency. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> And uh, there's going to be a lot of campaign stops there. Tomorrow, a big uh, campaign here, an election that will take place in Huntsville and Scottsboro. Mm. So that's happening. So we're going to get into that a little bit. But more importantly, <laughs> yes, it is the Bolathon. The Cumulus Bolathon. We are going to be out there for 24 hours starting noon this Thursday. And we're going to be broadcasting live Friday morning from the Bowling Alley as well. Everyone's invited to stop on by. Come have some fun with us. Uh, five o'clock on Thursday, I got the Girlfriend's Groove, which is open to everyone. Fellas, please, please yes. come on out and have a good time. For those of you who have been wanting to be so nosy and see what do they do at the Girlfriend's Groove <laughs> and the Girlfriend's be nosy. Night Out. Right. We're going to have cards. We're going to have dominoes. We're going to have games to play. I can't wait. Because everybody that win, uh, w- plays a game and wins, they're going to get a prize also for those who win prizes will qualify for the grand prize girlfriend's mystery night out Mm. Mm -hmm. and also i will be having an eight to ten global okay all right so lights are going to be shut off the led lights are going to be on where you glow a tire wear some neon too oh that'll be fun shoes glowing so your stuff can be okay bringing out and just just glowing everywhere okay eight to ten i will be on the wheels are still out there at madison bowl we will have a good time bring your party shoes and your bowling shoes right and you can um also reserve a lane when you do get yourself a three games for like 20 bucks 20 bucks and then that is uh helping to fundraise for big brothers big sisters who are in a little bit of need of extra funds and that's what this is all about wanting to help this great organization that's helping our children in our yes, community yes yes all yes, right yes. it's all going down on thursday details are on our website at whrp FM.com. We looking black in the day. Was that black? We're looking back in the day. Back, 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 back. Well, black in the day, Criola Catherine Johnson was a mathematician whose calculations of orbital mechanics as a NASA employee was critical to the success of the first U.S. crewed spacecraft and space fr- flights. Uh, Miss Johnson uh, earned a reputation for mastering complex manual calculations and helped to pioneer the use of of computers to perform tasks. Katherine Johnson had a 33-year career at NASA, which they noted her historical role as one of the first African-American women to work at NASA science- scientist. And she was a true hidden figure. That's back in the day. On this date, back in the day, Bo knows baseball. Oh, yeah, it was 1990 that Bo Jackson hit an amazing four straight home runs. Hurricane Andrew hit Louisiana on this date in 1992. Seventh Heaven, you remember that show, premiered on WB oh, yeah. right, in 1996. And the play in the NBA bubble, oh boy, nobody <laughs> wants to go back to that, 2020. Well, it stopped after the shooting of Jacob Blake. The Bucks are the first team not to play. The playoffs would resume days later. There's a few celebrities celebrating birthdays and famous people, too. Back 
actress and talk show host Kiki Palmer celebrating her birthday today, as well as former NBA MVP James Harden and the kid that, no matter what he does, will <laughs> always be home alone. I'm talking about Macaulay Culkin is celebrating his birthday as well. Singer, model, and actress. It's me and you now. Cassie <laughs> celebrating her birthday today, as well as Valerie Simpson. She's a singer of the hit duo singer songwriter Astrid and Simpson. And in memoriam, we have Katherine Johnson, black mathematician and one of the hidden figures of NASA that helped us get into space. And Geraldine Farrow, she was the first female vice president candidate for a major U.S. party. Find more celebrity birthdays on our Facebook page at. 94.1 WHRP. And it is National Women's Equality Day, continuing the fight for fair, equitable treatment. That's Black in the Day, Back in the Day. Tony in the Morning on 94.1 WHRP. Right down the street in the Tennessee Valley, Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend, and PT, DJ Primetime 256, 94.1 WHRP. Time for the good news in the neighborhood. Good news in the neighborhood. Alabama A&M Office of Student Activities just hosted their Little Miss AAMU and Junior Miss AMU pageant. Congrats to all the contestants and special, special congratulations to Emery Wilson. She won Little Miss Alabama Agricultural Mechanical University. And big congratulations to my daughter, Amari Smith. She Amari. won. Yeah, she won Junior Miss AM and she also won the People's Choice at Alabama Agricultural Mechanical University. For this and other good news in the neighborhood, check out our Facebook page at 94.1 WHRP. The good news in the neighborhood is sponsored by Alabama AM. Learn more about Alabama AM University by visiting AAMU.edu today. Alabama AM. Start here. Go anywhere. Well, listen, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is a big a local election day. Mm-hmm. We tell y'all to get out there and vote. We got District 1, District 5, the Board of Education for both districts are going out there. So please, please, folks, if you haven't already got out there to register to vote, get out there, register. Tomorrow is the day. Well, you can't register to vote for tomorrow, but you oh, certainly it's too can. Late. Yeah, it's too late. Too late. But. Oh. But for those of you who are going to do um, an absentee ballot, it has to get in today. Uh, also, uh, for those that are voting tomorrow in District 1, boy, it's going to be heated. Mm, yes. Ooh, it's going to be a tight race. Yes. Uh, you have Devin Keith, the mm-hmm. incumbent. Uh, you have Michelle Watkins and Reggie McKenzie. They're all running for District 1 mm-hmm. uh, council seat. Uh, uh, the school board candidates yeah. uh, who are running, mm-hmm. uh, Chandra uh, Jones, Claudia Harris, Will Culver, Pat King. Now, Will Culver uh, was in District 5 um, at one time city council, so it looks like he's switching up. Mm -hmm. Uh, Then you have in District 5 a couple of candidates. John Meredith. Miss Kim Carter Lewis is running uh, for City Council District at District 5. And for the Board of uh, Education for District 5, we have Carlos Matthews and Zara Brodnick. Uh, Brodnick. Yeah, that sounds good. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So uh, people, listen, if you are one who is concerned about your community, who's going to represent Mm -hmm. and make some moves, make some changes, um, you know, by now you should know what everybody's, Mm -hmm. you know, talking about, what they're going to do to make things better. Yes. In those regions. So get out and vote. And then for those of you who didn't register for this uh, election, mm-hmm. please do because we have another un- election coming up Big in one. November. Big one coming up in November. Vote locally, people. We've been talking about this for a minute. The local changes has to happen locally. Yeah. These are the people that come to your door. These mm-hmm. are the people that stay in your neighborhoods. So if you want something to change in your community, get out there and vote tomorrow. All right. Scottsboro also has an election day tomorrow as well. More municipal elections uh, that will will take place. I know a lot of people are wondering about the mayor uh, situation uh, with Tommy Battle. Well, Mm -hmm. (laughs) nobody was running. So unopposed. He's already won. Unopposed. (laughs) That's how you win. (laughs) His best variety of R&B. 94.1 WHRP. The latest gossip headline. No, they didn't. Tony's Tattletales. I can't believe. They talking about that. The latest gossip headline. Ah, they all up in everybody's business. Tony's Tattletales. Tattletales. Tony's Tattletales. Tattletales. Tony's Tattletales. 
Well, Sean Kingston and his mama, of course, they've been in court for <laughs> fraud and all kinds of charges. They both pleaded not guilty, but they said mama gave the reporters a special report as she was walking out of the courthouse. What's she say? The middle finger. Oh, <laughs> TLC has been on a little bit of edge only because our girl T-Boz has been hospitalized. Of course, we're wishing her nothing but the best of health as she recovers from what they thought was maybe a abdominal blockage, mm. possibly. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, she has posted on IG that she's on the mend and she just wanted to let everybody know that this was one of those things she had no control over and she looks forward to making up the concert event dates that they were participating in. So, yeah. Get better, T-Boz. And Kendrick Lamar does it again. What? It's not a diss. What'd he do? He broke a record. Again? Drake's record. (laughs) Kendrick Lamar's song Not Like Us was the fastest rap song to pass 700 million streams on Spotify, smashing and breaking the record set by Drake's God's Plan in 2018. Wow. Oh, that's why there's beef, Tony. One more time in your face. They not like us. It's not the word. It's what I heard. It's only Tattletales. Tony's Tattletales is sponsored by Hello Huntsville, where your heartbeat of the community comes alive. Check out Hello Huntsville at whrpfm.com. 94.1 WHRP. Tony in the morning. It is Monday, and you already know we're about to get some gems from Tish Hardrick and Associates. Good morning, Tish. Good morning, and happy Monday. Happy Monday. We are totally excited about this. Incentives and, and starting a business. So we have the incentives to start a business. Uh, how many tips are you going to hook us up with today? Five tips. And uh, all that said, you want to get into it with tip number five? Well, have you ever dreamed about being your own boss, first yes. of all? Yes. And turning your passion into a thriving enterprise or making a lasting impression on your community. That's why we're talking about these tips today and driving individuals to take that leap of faith and start your own business. And with that being said, Tip number five is financial independence. The potential for high financial rewards and the ability to control your own financial destiny is priceless. It's a major incentive with many entrepreneurs. We are talking to Tish Hardrick and Associates about incentives to starting a business. Tish, what's tip number four? Control. Owning a business allows individuals to be their own boss, make your own decisions, and implement your vision without needing approval from higher ups. I like all of that. (laughs) All right, (laughs) right. let's get into tip number three. Pursuit of passion. I'm a big believer that your gift will make room for you, and many entrepreneurs start businesses on their passions or their gifts and their hobbies, and they turn it into a career, allowing them to work on something that they truly love. And Tish, what's tip number two? Market opportunity. Identifying a gap in the market or a specific need that isn't being met can drive individuals to start a business and capitalize on that opportunity. You can control your whole environment of employment, be your own boss. These are tips of incentives to starting a business with Tish Hardrick and Associates. And tip number one. Impact and legacy. That's so huge. Entrepreneurs can seek to make a positive impact on their community or the world and just start a business and a platform that's going to create a lasting legacy. So I am a firm believer that if you are on the edge and you're thinking about starting a business, take that leap of faith. Who wouldn't want more information about this opportunity of getting incentives and starting your own business and other great Um, you know, tips on how to become successful with your business. Tish Hardrick and Associates definitely can help you with that. How can they get in contact with you, Tish? Please contact us. We want to get you moving on that new business. You can check us out on the web at thetishteam.com where we're building foundations of success one step at a time with grants, business consultancy, and career. 94.1 WHRP. In the morning, 94.1 WHRP. Let's get into it with your morning Black History Facts with O.C. Maddox Jr. Welcome back to Black History Facts. I'm O.C. Maddox Jr., your host. 
As Kamala Harris runs for president of the United States, I know that you're noticing that there is a great wave of excitement that is sweeping throughout the political world. Uh, Many are calling this the Kamala Harris effect. It's captivating voters and reshaping the landscape uh, of American politics. Now, Harris, she's the first woman, first black and first South Asian vice president, is no stranger to breaking barriers. Her presidential campaign uh, represents not just another candidacy, but a powerful symbol of change in a country that's grappling with issues of race, gender and justice. The Kamala Harris effect is igniting enthusiasm among diverse voter bases, especially uh, with women, people of color, and younger generations who see her as a candidate that reflects their experiences and aspirations. Her candidacy is challenging the status quo, which also pushes the Democratic Party to embrace a more progressive and inclusion platform. Political analysts are buzzing about the impact that Harris could have on the 2024 election. Her presence is energizing debates around a lot of these critical issues like criminal justice reform, health care, climate change, and also setting the stage for a campaign that could redefine the future of American politics. Now, as this race heats up, the Kamala Harris effect is more than just a moment. It's actually a movement, one that has the potential to transform the presidency and our nation. Here on Black History Facts, we want to extend to you and yours to participate in this year's voting season. Hey, don't forget to register online if you haven't done so. You'll be glad you did. Well, that should do it for today. I'm O.C. Maddox Jr. for Black History Facts. And until next time, stay informed, stay inspired. And keep on making history. Your Morning Black History Facts is sponsored by OMJ Media Design. Find them on Facebook. OMJ Media Design. Tony in the morning, DJ Primetime 256. Uh, There's a lot of celebrities that we all are fans of. Yes. And sometimes you wish that you could have a conversation, maybe dinner, lunch or something. Just Mm -hmm. spend a little time. Right. A little one-on-one, right? Right, right. Imagine this, an opportunity to stay at someone's house, one of your famous celebrity you know, they're friends in our head. Right. right? We, we know them, even though they don't know <laughs> they us. Don't know us. <laughs> they don't know us. <laughs> they don't know they us. They don't know us. <laughs> right? Yeah. So Ludacris is doing something unique next mm. week. Yeah. So you can stay at Ludacris's house. Mm-hmm. You can go at booking.com. It's offering a two-night stay at Ludacris' home, which is worth $4 million. Now, I've never been in a $4 million house, Tony. Mm. I've never been. You can also get memorabilia. He is going to have a personalized barbecue catered to you. Mm-hmm. Right, right? Mm-hmm. And I can't tell you what else. Oh. But you know, let me tell you why. Why? Because I want to sign up and win. I don't want to tell <laughs> nobody else. All right? It, this is really neat. I remember when Issa Rae did something uh, similar to this. And where you can stay at her property. But this is different. Mm -hmm. Luda's going to be there. He's going to actually be there. Yeah. So he's going to hang out. He's going to offer up his chauffeur service and all that. You know, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to use your chauffeur service. I need some Luda's oodles and noodles. (laughs) (laughs) Right. That is so unique, though. That that's probably going to start a trend. It's got to. I remember when Ludacris was Chris Lover Lover. Mm hmm. So as a uh, a radio uh, announcer to a big time rap mogul, and mm-hmm. li- so out of all the celebrities, who would you really want to stay with? Literally. Yeah. Ludacris. No! <laughs> 94.1 WHRP. And have you heard the news over this weekend about a new statue honoring the great John Lewis out in front of the courthouse in Georgia? Yeah, I saw that unveiling. I was watching um, it as they were getting ready to take the big covering off of it. It was mm-hmm. pretty spectacular. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, a person who stood, I mean, he was one of the Freedom Riders. Yes. This guy started when he was very, very young as a civil right activist, you mm-hmm. know, and really stood tall for us all, uh, paving the way for many uh, opportunities, such as voting, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> Uh, but nonetheless, uh, pretty exciting to see the statue's very nice. Yes, yes, yes. It replaces a Confederate statue that mm-hmm. was there for over a hundred years. I'm not going to say a century. It was there over a hundred years. 
Now, we've got uh, uh, John Lewis has his statue up there. Little known fact about hmm. Mr. John Lewis, I actually got a chance, and I didn't know, when you're, when history is being made, you don't know what's going on while you just, you just living in the moment. Right. I was living in the moment and I got an opportunity to march across the Edmund Bridge with him. All right. Yes, I was the one holding the little speakers. So if you see a guy on the opposite the side. Edmund Bridge. Yes. Okay. That was me. I, I, I got that's to carry the, the speaker. I was wondering who that little guy was. That was me. My goodness. I'm in the history books, Tony. I see. <laughs> so you carry speakers for? Everybody. Oh, <laughs> Well, that's really neat. That's a great memory uh, to have. But yeah, uh, an opportunity for everyone to just, uh, you know, take a look at this beautiful statue of uh, John Lewis, you know, and uh, he always uh, made good trouble. And we appreciate all the good trouble he got into. 94.1 WHRP, Tony in the morning. About to chop it up and break them down. Those complicated lyrics on old school jams and new ones too. It's the old school, new school lyric breakdown. Well, here we are. A special assignment to dig in between the lines. You know how they say, read between the lines? Yeah. We're going to read a few lines. But when we read these lines, they're going to be a little confusing. That's why you need to read in between the lines. Be- oh, I like how you did that. Yeah. See, some people don't understand exactly what's going on. Mm-hmm. You know, and it says, not, don't lean to your own understanding. There it is. Lean to ours. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right. Jade says, don't walk away. Mm. All this love waiting just for you. I just got to know that your love is true. Can't keep running, boy, in and out of my life. Want to be your girl. Not because the mood is right. Mm. If I let you come inside, tomorrow will you hide? Will you be there for me when I need someone to hold? Baby, don't misunderstand. I don't want for my man. I just need a little time before I invest you, my love. Okay, so first and foremost, she's saying that she doesn't want this relationship just because the mood is right. Right, 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 right. And really doesn't want to invest in something that might not be real. Mm. Needs a little time. Needs a little time. (laughs) Don't walk away, boy. Don't walk away. My love won't hurt you. No, no. Don't Mm. walk away. I'll be right there for you. Y'all definitely going to have to read between these lines Mm -hmm. because I'm a little confused, too. Mm -hmm. You said all the things that I like to hear. You pushed all my buttons, baby. Love to have you close to me. Wanna feel your love. Wanna be for sure that it's me you need, baby, each and every night. So there's a little question mark Mm. hovering above her head, wondering, is this the real right person for me? Because there's something that's making her stall on making this whole commitment. But she feels it. She feels it. She feels the love, but she doesn't want him to walk away. Well, there's a good reason. Mm. It's in between the lines. It is. It is. <laughs> you know, she said, Don't walk away, boy. My love won't hurt you. And when she sings it like that, there's the reason why <laughs> he walked away. <laughs> 94.1 WHRP. Told you I was going to let you know about this water. Mm-hmm. This high quality H2O. Okay. Would you drink anything named liquid death? Absolutely not. <laughs> Even if it was good for you? Nope. Like just just some good Mm-mm. crisp spring water. Mm-mm. It's only called a little bit of liquid death. Mm-mm-mm. Might as well be called poison, right? Right. Yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> why would you want to drink something with the word death on it? Well, I know. And that's a great question. Mm-mm. But I did it. And you it did tastes it? really good. Really? It's something about drinking water out of a metal can. It's just extra cold. Oh. Yeah. Now, what I'm not going to try mm-hmm. is their new flavor called Hot Fudge Sunday. Hot Fudge Sunday. Now, I'm interested. I, liquid Death. Oh, hot no. Hot Fudge Sunday. Well, no. Okay. No. <laughs> but I love Hot Fudge Sundays. That's probably the only chocolate-like thing I like. I would... Eat the hot fudge Sunday, right? And drink some water, right? But I, I can't have them mixed together. They don't, they don't, they don't sound you like don't it's know till you try it. You don't uh, know. Okay, all right. I, I'll try the hot fudge Sunday liquid death if you just try liquid death. Not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs>
right. It's all right. So the Mega Million jackpot jumps to $575 million tomorrow. Uh, you might want to get that ticket. Ooh. You know, go over cross state line. You never know. They say only two people have won the Mega Millions thus far in 2024, <laughs> and you could be the next. You never know. I want to be the next. Can I hold five dollars again? What gas? would you do if you won all of that money? Of course, most of it goes to Uncle mm-hmm. Sam. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm out. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Point one WHRP, Gurley, Huntsville, Decatur, Accumulus Media Station. I said, told me, told me, told me. It's local and it's here. Tony in the morning show. Tony, 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 Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend. Thank you for starting your day with us. Tony, Tony, Tony in the morning. Tony in the morning. 94.1 WHRP.